Creativity is the feeling that this day has been like no other day because I've attempted to contribute to building something that's never existed before and that's an exciting feeling. Well, an editor basically takes the footage that's shot and assembles it. Even though all these other people have contributed, it's a new chapter. It's like the beginning of birthing the film. The first impression of the footage is really, really important because I find performances that I like, little mistakes, serendipitous moments, things that surprise me, and I make note of all those. And that becomes, as I go through the process, my Bible. You can only see the footage once for the first time. The most important thing that an editor brings to a film is objectivity, if only for a short time. Because down the line, you're looking at it not for your first impression, but how does this scene work with 20 scenes preceding it and 50 scenes after it? I cut for the emotion, I cut for moving the story forward, I cut for the humor, I cut for the mistakes. I try and make my first cuts really detailed and I take a little more time with that. So I don't really call it a rough cut. I like to finesse as best I can. I like to excavate all the moments, even if I know they're not gonna live in the long run. This is our scene board. This is our whole movie with cards for each scene in the movie. It helps us look at where we're going, what's around it. It's just a visual roadmap. You can stand in front of it and drink coffee and look at it and noodle. This scene used to live right here, but then we realized we didn't need it, so we moved it down here into the graveyard of scenes. Do you need this scene? That's always one of the very important things because you're always trying to whittle a movie down. Mostly they're always too long. And the best way to do it is to lift it out and put the two scenes on either side together and you just feel like a weight has lifted from your shoulder. For me, the beginning of the day is really, really important. I try not to even make calls or deal with any logistics. I sit down and I watch the material that I cut the day before because I can look at it with a new objectivity. And usually if I've run into a problem or something was a little rough, I can correct it really quickly. And then I move on to the new material, screening the new material that's been organized and put in my avid, and I make my notes in my book. So this is our host schedule. We look at that every day, we see what's coming. We have a big arrow that shows us where we are today in terms of where we have to be when we start our final dub, where we have to lock picture. This is our life laid out. A feature generally can take anywhere from six to nine months from start to finish. There's never enough time. Sometimes I set a limit for myself if I say I'm gonna cut scene 24 by 4.30, but sometimes I fall down the rabbit hole and just get really engrossed in a scene. I think good editing, you're in the right place at the right time. If I'm watching something and I wanna be somewhere else, that indicates to me a roughness of the editing. You have to let the film tell you how it should be cut. I mean, the whole reason we do what we do is to hold up a mirror and show people something that reflects something in their life through comedy, through drama, just some small recognition. And I think it always has to be honest. Acting that feels real as opposed to performed is what I feel I have a good sense of. I feel that's why people hire me, and that's what I always look for. That's my approach.